even when I'm with the packing plate. More of these ball pit balls. They are just everywhere. Once we cleared everything off of the entertainment stand, I can definitely see it needs a good wipe down. There is dust, baby prints all over my TV. Everything just needs to be wiped down. And I like the colorful theme of my living room for right now while my kids are littles because we do a lot of playing around in there. So I know you're probably wondering, but Rhonda, you just took all the toys out. What I'm trying to do is um, make it easier to clean up my living room because it is the first space that you kind of can see from the front door. So as soon as I open the front door, it's my office or it's supposed to be a bonus room that we kind of want to close up eventually. And it's the living room to the dining room to the kitchen. So it's all an open space. And because the kids are on spring break, I let them do their thing or whatnot. Now it's time to, to get in order before the summer where the kiddos will be home all the time. And I want to set up a tour rotation. So I already have a spot underneath. There's like this closet underneath my stairs that has a good amount of space that I think I'm going to keep toys in there. So they are not everywhere on my floor. Because again, my living room became a playroom. And I don't, I don't like that. But I also don't want that Pinterest worthy looking home that looks like no kids live there my kids live here and then we i'm very into to children i love them having fun and stuff so i'll also invite the neighborhood kids here too so there's always some hustle and bustle going on in in my house and i love it i live for it but at the same time um it got a little out of hand <laughs> and so it's time to rein it back in before the summer So now I'm using the Swiffer dry cloths to really wipe down the walls because you know dust gets on there too and then sometimes I find spider webs on the very top so we need to get all of that off. Besides, this is my way of priming the walls because I do want to touch up paint. Yes, I'm being extra. This is the perfect time, spring cleaning, to touch up paint your house. Let's carefully pull down the curtains and get them washed and clean the windows. Now I'm moving on to the couch and I don't know if you guys noticed but I'm kind of going in this clockwise direction so that I can make sure I'm hitting all my points and then we're going to work we're working also top to bottom so that's why the walls are getting hit that's why we're dusting we're letting all that dust settle because at the very end we're going to clean the floors. See I thought my couch was good and it didn't need too much of a wipe down but hunty I was so wrong. Look at what my baby did. A highlighter to my couch. So I'm going to use that blue bucket from earlier and I'm putting a, some water and just a little bit, a little bit of dish soap in there to wipe down my couch with one of those white cleaning towels. I also have a cat who likes to rub himself right here every time he walks past my couch. So Coda Cat has that, that soft hair that kind of sticks to everything. So that soap and water that we're going to be using next in the blue bucket.